Hello there everyone, Dave Doggett with NovaScotiaFishing.com. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to upload a photo or photos to the photo gallery. So on the main page here, once you're logged in, I'm logged in as a test account here. Uh, click on Gallery. And then it's going to randomly generate a photo from, the from any one of the galleries here, which is kind of neat because you can just cl keep clicking the gallery link and it will show you another picture and another one and another one so that's kind of a neat thing in itself um, what I'm going to do here is uh, when you're in just the, the default gallery view there's a there's an upload button here okay so you can just start there if you like click the upload button and then it's going to say there's no album selected so that the reason it's saying that is because I was on the default gallery page when I hit the upload button. I was not within one of the global albums. So I'm going to go into the fly tying album and I'm going to upload a picture. Now before I do that let me go over a little bit about what this gallery means. Um, you'll notice some of these pictures have little numbers over top of the picture which is really neat because that tells us that there's that many comments from other members on that picture. So um, I'll click on one of, uh, I believe this is uh, one of Robbie's flies. And uh, down below you'll see there's three comments on that fly. So that's kind of neat. You can see what, what picture needs comments and what picture already has comments. So given that this is the category of the photo gallery that I want to upload a picture in, I can click Upload. And all I need to do is click this Choose Files button and I'm, I just browse on my computer where the pictures are. Now you can do one picture at a time or you can do multiple pictures at a time. I'm going to do one at a time for this example. You just select a picture and it automatically starts the upload. <clears throat> Once the, the upload is complete You'll see the, you can see the picture here in a little thumbnail and you do have the option to delete it just in case you didn't want to upload that picture. So I'm going to delete that just because I'm going to show you now how to upload multiple pictures. I just select multiple pictures and you'll notice the first one started to upload and the second one says pending. It'll do one at a time. And these are about one and a half megabyte size pictures. They're fairly high resolution. not you know if your camera takes a very high resolution you probably would want to open those photos in a, in a photo editing program and shrink them down a little bit because what the photo gallery does is it shrinks it down to about 800 by 600 pixels I believe it is so anything from there up it should upload but if you want to reduce upload time uh, and the chance of any kind of error due to size then uh, just resize your pictures a little bit from their original state. Uh, but these ones were, were right out of taken right with my camera um, so they're fairly high resolution. They uploaded fine. So they're both up there. Um, now I can say review and publish. And this is where you get a chance to put the details for the photo. So I'm going to say uh, fly tying materials at fishing fever. So that you know that's the title, fly tying materials at fishing fever. Um, and I can do that again. In fact, they're both pretty much the same. So I'm going to copy and paste. Just you can put a copyright if it's a photo you want to copyright. Um, and uh, there's a few other settings here that you can play with as well. You can rotate your image. So I'm going to say finish and publish. Okay, so now I don't see it on this page. That doesn't mean it wasn't uploaded. That's because it's the most recent picture and you have to go to the last page. There. So if you don't see it after you review and publish, just go to the last page where 
you will find those pictures. Now, um, I'll click on one just to make sure it looks right. Yep, fly tying material is very good. Um, again, you do have control to rotate. Um, you can also delete your image over here. You can also uh, share links to that photo. I'm going to show you some of those things here. Um, if you wanted to share the link to this photo on another site or your own website, you just click share links. And uh, this, this BB code is the code that you would copy and paste into the discussion forum. If you were making a post and you wanted to show that photo, that's the BB code right there. Uh, HTML code, if you wanted to embed that photo on any web page, you would just copy and paste that, that link, that code. Uh, another direct link to the image is right there. And what's this other one here? Yeah, let me pull it up again. Page link. Okay, that's a link just to this page of the photo. So that's how you would share. If you wanted to set this photo as your profile photo, you just say set as photo. And that would actually assign that. And I'll show you that right now, actually. Although I'm going to use the other one. Um, let's go back. This one has a little more color. Let's say, yeah, I kind of like that picture. I'm going to set that as my photo. This is the size that your photo will be. So I'm going to crop it. Eh, I kind of like that. It's got some good color there. I'm going to say save. Okay. So now let me just refresh that page. There's my profile photo. Uh, just like it just let me set. And you can do that with I think pretty much any picture, especially any picture that you uploaded. But I believe you can do that for any picture that's in the gallery. Um, let's go back to the gallery here, see if there's anything. Yes. Um, okay. We'll go back to fly tying and we'll go back to that picture. Now, there are a few other things that you can find out here. Let's say there's another photo in the gallery that you want to keep up to date on. So if somebody makes a comment on a photo, you'd like to be notified when somebody makes a comment on that. Well, you can just say, follow this image. I just click that link and it says, receive notification instantly. That's what I want to do. Uh, you can also follow anonymously because uh, if you're following a photo and you don't check anonymously, other members can see that you're following the photo. I don't know why anyone would have a problem with that, but anyway, you can do that. So I'm going to say, follow this image. And you'll notice now there's a little one beside this and it also says unfollow this image. So there's a one there. I can click that and see that I am in fact following that image, but I'm going to unfollow it now. Very simple, a neat way to keep in touch with uh, all the things that, that are on the site that you want to know what's going on. Now, <clears throat> if you see a photo that uh, violates the site terms or uh, contains any kind of illegal material. You can click that report. Uh, I'll go back there and show you again. There's a report image button below each image. And you can click that and just type a little report in. You know, this this image, uh, you know, why you're reporting this image. And it says the moderator will be made aware of the link to the page you're reporting. This is only to be used for reporting objectionable content. It's not for a means to communicate with moderators. So, uh, okay, again, we're going to go back to the gallery and I'll just review a couple other things. Um, yeah, so basically, these galleries on the right, these albums are global albums, okay? These albums are typically, uh, they're made up of both members' albums and um, global albums. Uh, and what do we have down here? Recent images. These are the most recent images in the gallery. The latest comments on the pictures in the gallery, uh, which is pretty cool. And then if you're on the home page, you'll see that your recently uploaded pictures show up here. And you'll also notice there's a little scroll bar here that lets you scroll, I believe, 
Uh, I forget how many pictures. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten there. I think it's about twenty pictures that show up uh, in the preview area here. Yeah. So anyway, that's pretty much the photo gallery. You'll also notice that we have a forum called Photo Gallery Photos. And this is where you can discuss photos, if you like, outside of the comments below each photo. And again, remember when I showed you the share option with the BB code? You could start a new topic, paste the BB code in here, and start a discussion about a particular picture. So that's pretty much the photo gallery in a nutshell. Hope that helps. And uh, again, if you have any questions, you can use the contact us link at the top of the site.